Hey everybody, this is John. Um, I've been asked to do some demonstrating on some video on the fixing of the floorboard of my car using a non-welding method. So I decided I'd go ahead and do a step-by-step -step video from beginning to end of how this is done and how good it is. So to give you an idea, I've already tore out my carpet and the padding the uh, sound barrier heat barrier took all that out and clean that side up a little bit you can see I haven't cleaned this side but you can see that we've got a couple holes some rust holes over here we've got looks like somebody tried to do a little patch back there there's another hole there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grind all this down with just a uh, wire wheel. I'm not going to do it with like a uh, grinding wheel. Uh, so all we need to do is we just need to get all the loose surface rust up. And we don't want to grind all the rust away because I'm going to be using a product called Miracle Paint. This is it right here. Um, I have two kinds. I have the thin version and then I have the thick version. And then I've got different layers of fiberglass that I'm going to use to actually create a new floorboard and patch these holes and then do the whole thing. So I'm going to actually clean it up, put a layer of the fin down to actually adhere to the rust because it, it actually has a chemical in it that binds to the rust and keeps it from ever rusting again. Then I'm going to start laying down the levels or layers of fiberglass with the thicker version and that's going to create a solid surface to repair the holes. So I'm going to clean it up real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So we got everything vacuumed up. You can kind of get an idea of where the holes are. We got a little something, something there. Some over there. There's a nice one right there. There's that little patch. We'll clean that up. And then in the back, we have I kind of lifted this up so we can see we got one back in there. We got one over here. A lot of surface rust. On the driver's side, it looked pretty good. I don't even see any holes on the driver's side. But it's obvious that this thing has sat in some water. And uh, for quite a while, I found hay up in the uh, suspension, so it tells me it's probably sitting in a barn somewhere. So now I'm gonna take a wire wheel and clean up some of the loose rust, and then uh, I'll be back. We'll be ready for some uh, miracle paint. Okay, so I got most of the rough surface rust off, and uh, you know it still looks rusted. So now we're going to work on putting the first coat of miracle paint, and this is a this is the thin version. So you can see it goes in. Now this stuff, once you open this. Uh, the chances are of you using the same container getting it opened again are pretty slim but what I do and, and it only has like a three month shelf life once it's open so what I do is I open it regular use it close it back up and then you have to punch a hole in the can because the uh, miracle paint actually seals the can so it's some uh, pretty heavy stuff and it will come off with a you know like a paint thinner when it's wet but once this stuff dries there's no there's no solvent to take it off so it's pretty much on so use an old brush and then brush it on pretty literal and what I've done is I put a oil drip pan one of those big 
workshop floor plans pans on the on the ground underneath the car because I don't want to get it on my driveway because I will never get it off <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this down with miracle paint also use this stuff outside because it's uh, pretty the smell is pretty uh, potent make sure you get all the way around everywhere around the hole I mean we're gonna patch it but you want to make sure that you get all the rust so I'll be back when uh, when I'm done painting all this up all right so we've got it all painted we've got miracle paint everywhere still got the holes that side and it's still wet what I'm going to do with each hole, I'm going to just do one to show you. It's like on this hole here. Is the first thing I'm going to do while it's still wet is I'm going to put a patch of fiberglass right into it. And then I'm going to drown it down with miracle paint to hold it in place, which I got to find my miracle paint. And this stuff, like I said, you really got to be careful not to uh, get this stuff anywhere while it's, uh, and then let it dry. So I'm going to drown this in Miracle Paint. As you can see, it's kind of starting to set down in it. And then I want it to sit down in the hole, which it's not doing. I'm going to do it this way. Here we go. Sit it down into the hole. And then you're going to press it in. And then we're just going to let that patch dry overnight. And then I'm going to do the same thing that hole back there and that hole over there and then I got a hole down inside there too and then there's a little one on the other side so I'm gonna take care of that and then we'll be back all right we're back so we have a patch we have a couple patches there uh, and another two patches up under here and then we've got a patch right over there that was a hole we found there now what we're gonna do is we gotta let this cure maybe about an hour it'll be a little sticky and then we're gonna put a couple more layers of a, of a thinner fiberglass over the whole thing so the whole thing is gonna be covered and it's just gonna reinforce the patch because I some of this area on this uh, passenger side is pretty soft so I'm going to go ahead and just cover the whole thing in a fiberglass cloth and then a fiberglass, a thin fiberglass mesh on top and then put another layer of the thick um, Miracle Paint on top of that. So after we do that, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we have our finished product. You see I put a pretty large patch all the way across should be able to see it so there's two different kinds of fiberglass there's fiberglass cloth and fiberglass uh, mesh on the whole patch and then back here in the corner you have the whole the large uh, heavy fiberglass mesh that we put back there on the front since we had so much so many holes up there we added another fiberglass mesh on the top to just reinforce the entire floor pan up there on the other side we just did a three-part patch over in that area where the one hole was and then coated the whole thing in the miracle paint uh, once this cures which I'm gonna let it cure overnight then I'm gonna spray a uh, 
rubberized compound over the whole floor pan and, uh, and then we'll be done let that dry and then I'll put a new sound barrier heat barrier material down with a foil backing and then the new carpet which looks like that so once that's all done we'll be able to put the seat back in and have this thing looking good you got any questions you can hit me up on my uh, YouTube channel where you saw this and uh, talk to you later all right it's day two and uh, I'm going to show you just how good this stuff is also give you an idea the car is a 1975 Mercedes 450 SL uh, named after my mom Emma Jean so here's the finished product and you can see that this everything's hard as a rock now in the back where those holes were solid underneath all hard and solid and now what I got to do is I'm gonna put down a coating kind of like an undercoating just a thin layer on the inside and then at each spot I'm gonna go underneath the car and put a thick layer maybe two or three coats of each spot where the holes are at so I can seal the bottom of that too and uh, we'll be back with that all right so we're going to show the final product everything underneath has been sealed and the car has the uh undercoating on it everything's on it's just a thin coat thick coat is done underneath and once all this is done and dry i'm going to put down the heat uh sound barrier and then I will be able to uh, do carpet. Now this kit I bought from a Mercedes Source. It comes with not the gloves. It comes with uh, brushes, fiberglass, instructions, uh, some uh, some of the uh, undercoating material. Uh, magic paint that they give you a little couple of uh, lemon heads um, but it's a pretty good kit with everything you need all in one box usually do some pretty small size since I had larger sizes I bought uh, larger rolls of uh, uh, fiberglass to do larger holes so since I had a lot of holes that had to be done and I had and I did the um, entire floorboard on both sides I had to get uh, more material so uh, if you have any questions like I said hit me up on the YouTube channel and uh, I'll put up a, a couple clips of the final product when I do the carpet uh, finish the sound barrier and and do the carpet and everything and put the seats back in. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay. Got the dampening sound barrier heat shield material on. Don't criticize me too much. I'm not a professional at this. But uh, pretty much seals everything up. It's nice and clean. And uh, I think it's ready for carpet.